Assalamu alaikum and good morning to all of you. Welcome to our new lesson based on English language course. Today we have a third lesson of H technique that's for future tense. So this is a very shortcut technique. If you are with me, you can learn future tense only in four or five minutes. So previously we have done two lessons of this. One is present, one is past. So if you have done your homework, we'll start now our lesson. Let's start here. I will write here future tense. And in brackets, I will write H technique. H is for Hamid. Hamid is my name. And this is my technique. So with this technique, what you have to do, you can skip all the traditional rules all the regulations all the laws of all the laws we use for third person first person then the forum of the verb so we'll skip all that and we'll see the best way to do with the future tense so like every time i'll just make four boxes here if you remember in our two lessons we did we made there four boxes so this is box number four, box number first, box number second, and this is box number third, and this is box number fourth. So in boxes we always fill helping verbs. We fill them with the help of helping verbs. Helping verbs are those which help the main verb. So in future tense we use will or shall. So usually let's do with the will for the sake of learning first. So I will write in the first box that's will. So second is empty here. The third box I will fill it with will have. And in fourth box there is it will be divided into two will be and will how been so let's evaluate first dear students how many boxes we made we made four boxes the first box is filled with which helping verb is will the second one is empty the third one is filled with will have and the fourth one is filled with the upper part and the lower part fourth one is will be and will have been We'll name first the boxes. The first box is future indefinite. This is future indefinite. This is future perfect. And this one is future continuous. And this one is future perfect continuous. So we don't have to remember rules here. So directly according to my technique, with first box we use first form of verb with second box we use second form of verb with third box we use third form of verb with fourth box we use fourth form of verb so you have to make the boxes in your brain so don't write on the copies just close your eyes and make the boxes there in your brain that you just make a, a slate there a, blank slate and draw four boxes box one box two box three and box four and fill the boxes with the help of helping verb and according to rule the first box meant for first verb second second third third form and fourth fourth form let's take now subject because tense is always the agreement between subject and verb so let's take the subject as she so she is our subject and let's take the verb wash so you know dear students this is the first form and its second form is washed its third form is washed and its fourth form we can make that's washing now dear students let's play the trick she is the subject so will is first we'll start from the subject then we'll reach to the box so she will then which form of verb we'll use we'll use this form why because in our technique that first form of verb is used with first box though so it will be it will become she will wash 
Now, the negative of it, we have, we have four different kinds of sentences. First, now, this was positive, now negative. She will wash, negative is she will not wash. And interrogative, interrogative is will she wash. And interrogative negative, will she not wash wash now reach to third box here because this is third box and we'll use third form of verb and what's the third form of verb it's wash washed and washed and washing now she will have washed because this is third form of verb now negative she will have not washed and interrogative will she have washed and will she have not washed now let's reach here to the fourth box and we'll have two parts there now this is future continuous and this is future perfect continuous the subject is she again she will be now which form of verb we can use here as per our rule we can use fourth form of verb because this is fourth box so this will become she will be washing now negative of it, she will not be washing and interrogative, will she be washing and will she not be washing. So this was our future. Let's go for the evaluation now. Let's take four boxes, make the four boxes in our brain, fill the boxes with the help of helping verbs and let's take your uh, verb as uh, run we know the three forms of run run rain run and running now your subject is they so you'll say they will and it's first box we we'll use first form of verb they will run now negative of it they will not run interrogative will start from the box will they run and interrogative negative will start from the box again will they not run now reach to second box it's empty and reach the third box. Why it's empty? In my technique, it's empty for the sake of making H technique. That's Hamid's technique. So the third box there is will have. So we'll start here. They will have. This is third box. That means third form of verb. They will have run. Run is third form. Negative of it. They will have not run. Now interrogative. Will they have run and will they have not run now the fourth box is two parts are there one is future continuous and there is will be so they is our subject they will be now which form of verb that's fourth form because this is fourth box they will be running negative they will not be running interrogative will they be running and interrogative negative will they not be running so dear students this this way we completed our uh, tenses by the help of shortcut technique called H technique. If you liked our videos, you can subscribe them. When you watch videos on YouTube, you can subscribe them and you can write to me your suggestions. And you can note my address B U K H A R I H A M I D 786 at the rate of gmail.com. So, see you in our next series based on active pesu, but shortcut technique again that's H technique with active pesu you can learn them even better even in more speed than tenses so see you in our next lecture till then goodbye